And as you're ready, we'll make our way down onto our backs. We're making our way down with the knees bent and the feet planted on the mat. We're going to lift up one leg. We'll start on the right side, turning the knee out and crossing the ankle over the other knee. And this can be a great place to stay. So we can just rest that right hand on the right thigh, gently letting that hand rest there to move the knee away in that direction. We're not pushing or forcing, we're just resting that hand there. If you don't feel a whole lot of a stretch here, you might prefer to lift up this left foot. And you can hold on behind the thigh or around the shin. Or if you need that little bit of extra stretch but it's too far away, we can always add in a towel or a strap or something to give you that little bit of extra reach. So holding on wherever's comfortable for you or letting that leg rest down on the mat. And finding our smooth, steady breath here. As the breath comes and goes, noticing those sensations through the hips, through the thighs, through the glutes. We'll take one more breath on this side. If you have that leg lifted, we'll gently lower the left leg down. So uncross the right leg. And just press both feet back down into the mat, noticing the sensations as the feet rest heavily on the floor. Then we'll come over to the other side, picking up the left leg this time, crossing the ankle over. Letting that knee gently turn out to the side. And again, deciding where the best place is for you on this side. So it might be right here, just simply with that left hand resting wherever's comfortable. Or you might like to start to bring this foot up off the mat. Again, with the hands or a strap or a jumper holding around the thigh or around the shin. And so that left knee is gently moving away from the body. And if you've got this leg lifted in particular, the left ankle is slowly moving towards the body. So aim to keep it within that comfortable window. You want to be able to breathe smoothly. You want to feel that stretching sensation, but not in the direction of pain. Taking two more breaths. And slowly releasing the right leg back down if you lifted, uncrossing the legs. And then taking a little bit of a windshield wiper. You can take the legs out wider as we gently ease the knees over to one side and then the other. It's only a little bit of movement through the hips and the legs. And we're going to bring the legs back together. We're going to bring our arms out wide. We're just picking up that bottom and putting it a tiny bit over to the right. And then we tip the hips, the legs slowly over to the left. Now, if they're hanging in space and that's uncomfortable, you can always bring a blanket, a rolled up jumper, a block underneath the legs. If they're hanging in space and that's comfortable, or if they come all the way to the floor, just allowing them to settle down. And we can really adjust this pose. So we can draw our knees further around to the chest. For many people, that'll make it more intense. You can ease the knees further away from the chest and for most of us that'll make it less intense. Going around finding that sweet spot for you. You can leave the gaze up at the ceiling or gently away to the right hand. And these twists are a lovely place to close the eyes to let the body sink down if that's comfortable for you. And as the breath comes and goes noticing all the sensations out a hip through the lower back, through the side of the body. Taking two more breaths here. And we'll bring the gaze, the legs back up to centre. Bring the hips to the middle of the mat and then a little over to the left. Use that bit of space as the legs fold to the right. And again, we can add in that support under here, whether it's a jumper, a pillow, a block. Or we can let the legs either hang in space or down on the mat. Then the arms stretch out wide, the shoulders softening down into the floor. And again, we can take the gaze either straight up or away to the left hand. 
usually check in with the neck, check in with the breath. Deciding whether you'd like to tuck the knees up closer or move them further away. Or whether you're perfect just as you are. We'll let the breath come and go for a few more rounds. Using each exhale as an opportunity to soften the body down a little more. And then slowly we bring the gaze, the legs back up to centre. And then the bottom back to the middle of the mat, the arms down. And we can bring our knees into our chests. So you can lift up the knees and hold around, hugging them in as tightly as you need. And you might hug them straight into the chest or you might separate the knees a little bit, bring them more towards the shoulders. You might stay right here or you could start to bring the soles of the feet up towards the ceiling, maybe holding to the backs of the knees. You may even like to reach through the outside of the feet and find that happy baby pose. Whichever of those options you've taken, you can stay there in stillness, letting the back, the back of the head, the shoulders settle down into the mat. Or you can find some movement here, a little bit of rocking side to side. And if you're moving, we'll come back to centre. Bringing the feet down, the knees in. The feet. We'll bring our hands over our kneecaps, so cupping the kneecaps with the fingers pointing down towards the toes, and lengthen out through the arms. And from here, we're taking tiny circles, so really, really small, smooth, steady movement, noticing any massaging sensations that we can feel across the lower back. Take that in the other direction now. And we'll come about halfway into the chest. This time taking larger movements, about the size of a dinner plate. Noticing how that different movement feels. As you're ready, we'll take that in the other direction. Coming back to centre. And as you're ready, the legs come down, finding that comfortable resting pose. So you might like to walk the feet out wide and rest the knees together. And the hands rest wherever's comfortable. Or you might feel comfortable with the legs extended along the mat. So taking a little time to find that comfortable place. Perhaps closing the eyes. And to start this time in stillness, we'll bring in one big deep inhale. And we'll release with a sigh. We're ready, the breath can return to its natural rhythm. And as we take this time in stillness, may each breath be an opportunity to soften a little more heaviness into the body. And in this time in stillness, we bring us a greater sense of peace, a greater sense of rejuvenation as we move into the rest of our day. We'll take these few moments in stillness. Welcome to stay here as long as you like. It's okay.
taking up this stillness. Gently, mindfully moving into the rest of your day.